What is going on everybody? It is Starkler coming back at you with episode 10 of the Corporate Clash playthrough. We have finally made it to a double digit number. It is episode 10 and we've got quite a bit planned for this episode. First things first, I want to say that we are probably going to make it to the end of Toontown Central and then working our way towards Barnacle Boatyard. Yeah, I was looking at the calendar because I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, we'll be working our way towards Barnacle Boatyard to start that playground soon. And the reason why I was looking at the calendar was because on Gag Farming Friday, which was... What was that? that was on the 8th when I was doing that stuff. I bumped my gags all the way up from level 3 to level 5. And it was pretty hard work, but I got on one of my alternate tunes and I did cog buildings in Daffodil Gardens. And I just pushed the gags all the way up to level 5. So that's great for future sake because I only have 3 more levels to go. And that's going to be extremely helpful going forward. But I really need more storage to hold more gags. So I gotta work my way through the task system. So we have to visit, uh, what's his name? Dr. How do you say it? Pull your leg? Well, that's funny down in Punchline Place. So, anyways, we've got a lot filled up for this episode. It's probably going to be longer than all the other ones, so let's just get straight to it and let's go and talk to this shopkeeper. Okay. Yeah, coming for an adjustment. What are we looking for? Huh. Okay. Yeah, you guys can read all that if you really want to. <laughs> Lots and lots of talking. You have to do all these fetch quests. There's so much talking, man. Okay, let's go visit, uh... What is it? Dr. Sensitive? Okay, let's go talk to Dr. Sensitive. Hello. Oh, yeah, I'm here for whatever it is. Sour grape? What kind of flavor is sour grape? Like, that sounds kind of nasty. Or that could actually taste pretty good, to be honest, but I've never had such a thing in my life. Um, but whatever. We're delivering our love letter because we love and appreciate our doctor. Um, how do you say it? Pull your leg? Oh, that's funny. That's real funny. Pull your leg. Pull my leg. A crush, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's all about love letters and other stuff. So I guess we have to go find a double talker. So, um, this is only 5% law bot, so I guess I'm going to leave this street and search for a double talker. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to do, but we'll search, so. Okay, we found a double talker. That wasn't so hard. I had to look up the cog spawn rates just to get an understanding of like, oh, look at my gags, I'm not going to get any points of just like what the cog spawn rates are and apparently loopy lane has a 40 percent spawn rate so i chose that because it works and it, it, it worked out because i found a double talker so let's see if we get it do we get it on take one we still haven't gotten it yet okay i'm just gonna have to keep searching for double talkers and there's one spawning right in front of me what are the chances of that happening come on two times the charm two times the charm this is it. This is our moment. Let's, uh, go for it again. Come on, tell me that's enough. Come on. Did we get it? I'm not getting any points, but we did get the task done, and we are good, so that means that we can go all the way back. Too bad we can't teleport directly to the shopkeeper, but that's okay. Yeah, we got you your smudge back. Whatever you need the smudge for. It's just text. Lots and lots of words. Lots of text. Okay, so let's see. Uh, supply ink. And, yeah, we have to go fish up supply ink. Okay, well, I'll just go back to the playground and do that, since it's easier to just fish in the playground than go through the fishing area. On the street, of course. Uh, let's just go to the docks and fish. I never fish on this tune, I don't think. Let's see if we can catch it. Well, did I really just get it on the first try? That's it? That's it! Okay. Alright, back to Punchline Place. That was... That was very quick. Yay, we got you your ink back. Is that so you could write a love letter? Is that what it is? Man, I'm running back and forth all over the place trying to figure out what they want me to do. 
It's so irritating. Ah uh, yes, a love letter. Of course, the love letter. Wasn't there like a love letter from like Mr. Hollywood's involving little old man or something? Or was that me just like thinking things? But now we have to go talk to Flippy. I know this episode isn't too exciting so far. We're just running back and forth and delivering letters and stuff. But I can assure you, it's going to get better. It, it will. I know it will. Because we'll have a fun little boss fight at the end. Flippy, what's up? Yeah, I'm the deal. You are welcome, Flippy. And welcome to the Resistance. Yay, I'm a part of the Resistance. I feel so good. So we're going to go check in with Lord Loud and Clear. And then I think there's going to be... I don't know what to do next, but... You know, I think we're off to a good sign. If we're talking to Flippy and then we have to go talk to Lord Loud and Clear. I think that's a positive influence. Isn't it? Let's just go talk to him. Okay, Lord Loud and Clear, what's up? What's the issue? Yeah. Okay, Barnacle Boatyard. Hey, we're getting closer. We're getting closer, that's a good thing. Wireless, okay. Okay. So let's see. Uh, visit Louise Connection in Wacky Way. Okay. I will go take a look. No, oh, I kind of like this little shop. Almost feels tropical somewhat. Yeah, stop by. For a special cog. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then what happened? Okay. Visit Wacky Wally. He's on this street, right? I think he's on this street. Wacky Wally. If I look at the map... Oh, he's like inside of this little building off to the side. It's a new street, so I'm not really used to um, everything that I see. And look at him, he's got like an outfit on, accessories. He's got like a mask on. It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see, investigate. Uh, let's see. What's it? Gags? Oline oil? Is that how you say it? Gag. Oh, wait. Gasoline oil. It said it's, uh, gagsoline oil. Okay. That makes sense. So, we have to go and look at this oil refinery section. Hmm. This door seems to be locked. Perhaps Wacky Wally knows how to get in. Oh, okay. The door's locked. We need a key. We need to find a key to get into there. We're probably going to have to recover the key from the cogs. But what type of cog would have the key? Boss bots would have the key. Okay. Fair enough. So we have to go get the key from the boss bots. Now what are the boss bot percentages? 30%. That's good enough for me. Let's go see if we run into a boss bot right as we step outside. And I already see a flunky right there. I'm going to go fight the pencil pusher. So that way if I don't recover the key right away, then I can just... Maybe I can kill the pencil pusher, like, super fast, and then, yeah, like, kill it before that flunky shows up, and then I could start up the next fight. Come on, I could be speedy quick. Keep it up, Tunes. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's, like, a mingler invasion going on right now. It's, uh, looking pretty bad, but thankfully it's not happening anywhere in Toontown Central, I don't think. Uh, okay. We got it. Yeah, we gotta go deliver our thing to Lord Loud and Clear. What's that tune's name? Master Bongo. Interesting. I have a tune named Bongo on rewritten. We are coming to visit you loud and clear. Okay, here you go. Please tell me you have a key. Yeah. Take the key you found and enter the building. Go inside, but be careful. Take a look around and then come back promptly and tell me what you saw. Don't take too long and don't take too much. Don't make too much noise. We want you being as careful as you can be. Good luck, Marvin. Okay, we're gonna go investigate, but first let me go get some gags real quick. Okay, so we have the key, so the door, yeah, just unlocks. So if this is what I think it is, yeah, this is the oil refineries. You hear the sounds of oil bubbling and machines whirring. You decide not to enter. 
So I guess we have to go back and talk to Lord Loud and Clear and tell him what exactly is going on. Because there's oil everywhere. I, I need to know what's going on. We gotta tell him. Oh, there goes the Mingler invasion. It's not that big of a deal. Whoa, what was that lag spike? You see that? Strange. A secret cog shop. Oh, it's a cog shop. What's that? You found a small written label inside. The Derrick Man. This is way worse than we could have ever had imagined. It appears the cogs are using this building as a secret but front to gather resources right from under our noses. Oh my gosh. Yeah, one of our resistance rangers is stuck in there. Yeah. Let's do it. We have to go take down the cog inside the shop. And funny enough, I don't think it's going to be that hard because I have access to level 5 gags. And a tune of my level probably shouldn't be that high yet. So, um, we have to go take out the Derek men. So this is the epic finale of Toontown Central. So I'm going to have to go find a group somewhere. Um, I don't know if there's any on the groups. Yeah, I don't see any, so... Uh, wacky way, I'm gonna go for it. And I just saw a tune run into that street with, like, no laugh. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Night fog. I like coffee beans, but jeez. They have, like, no health left, and they're just running... <laughs> Wait, they're just running down the street with, like, no health at all. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go do the task, I guess. Let's go fight the Derek man. Oh, this is interesting. It actually asks you if you want to make a boarding group or not. Uh, because it says the Derek man will be tough to take alone. So I will make a group. Uh, oh wow, there's a lot of groups now. Uh, so let's see. Create group, Derek man, wacky way. And here we are. We got our gags though. We got our tune up, our lure. I think I would pick sound after this, as soon as I get the second training point. That would be really nice. Because, yeah, I, I gotta get some training points. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm just gonna wait for a group, and I will cut away and cut back once we get our full boarding group. And then we can go and fight the boss together. Look at my face. I kid you not, I've been waiting here for like 10 minutes, and this is taking an extremely long time to get a group but I got two people so far so maybe we'll get like one more tune and then we can just go I can't remember how hard this boss really is but we'll see all right we're gonna do it with three I guess we don't need four this will be fun we're gonna go fight the Derek man yeah, I, I don't think this is going to be that hard of a boss fight. It's the end of Toontown Central, so... And one of these tunes is actually really high level. <laughs> like, really high up in there. So yeah, first time player present. Look at this. The tune tells a joke, and then look at what happens. It gets towed away. Funny joke, right? And then it hurts the cog. Are we really hiding behind the chairs? Yeah. What we call fun, of course. Wow, finding an extra staple in a stapler is fun. Yeah, they do sound boring. I don't know what it is, but it's just this small content like this that I just love investing my time into. Wait, he's not gonna leave, is he? There goes the Derek man. Master of Disguise. Yeah. <laughs> we are here. We're gonna rescue you. Oh no, he's back! He was... He was conning us. Guess it's up to us to fight it out with him. I knew I smelled something extra crude. 
Stop laughing. Sorry, that's me. Oh my gosh, comedy gold, guys. And you, be quiet, Toon. I was in dirt. Funny. Alright, let's do this. Is he gonna heal, or is he gonna be down 10 health? I told you to be quiet. Oh, jeez. It's kind of a long cutscene, to be honest. It's gaming time. This is gonna be fun. Let's do this. Derek, man. Alright. It's a special manager cog. Be careful, managers. Don't play by the rules. Be prepared for anything. Okay. Uh, and I am soundless, so I am just going to go for Derek, man, and just hope that that's enough. Or maybe I should take out the... I'll take out the level 4. That's better. Because it's still going to squirt Derek, man. And what did he just do? Did he just buff them? Buff the other cogs. That ain't fun. Thirty-two damage. That's decent. Level four still alive to do damage. Ah. Uh, what? Well, so, what do you guys think of gag restrictions? Do you guys think they're necessary, or do you think it should just be a switch where, like, if you just want to go in, one shot the boss, and just be done with it? Like, how would you feel? I think we're going to finish him off right here. It's going to be a two-round knockout. It's going to be done. He's totally dead. <laughs> it's already over. That was a short-lived boss, but the cutscene was good. A deal. What type of deal do you want to make with a tune? Hear me out. Yeah, you could beat the task line managers really fast if you know what you're doing. And that was with only three tunes. Yeah. Such favors in the future. I'm not gonna promise anything like that. William Bohr, more like William Afton. Well, that was nice. That was definitely short lived. But, yeah. That is it. That is the boss fight. Thank you, you saved me from those cogs. Hey, no problem, man. What was his name again? Barnacle Boatyard, it's here. We've done it. Except we probably have to talk to Lord Loud and Clear real quick. Yeah, we have to go talk to him afterwards. Freedom is ours. Do we get any sort of reward for fighting this boss? Other than gag credit? Like any stickers or anything? Like a Derek Man sticker? Oh, we did get something. We got a pose. Oh, that's like the angry pose on my Tune profile. That's funny. Duck Shuffler. I love the Duck Shuffler. Can't wait for the plushie to come in the mail. I got one. I have a friend that bought like two of them. Uh, so let's see, uh, we are going to go talk to Lord Loud and Clear, and then that is going to finish up this episode. I guess this wasn't really as long of, of an episode as I thought it was going to be. It's actually um, pretty normal length for the most part. I know you could do it, I just knew it, and a tropical background. I don't think a single tune here doubted you after everything you've done. You've stepped up to the plate and absolutely nailed it. You're fantastic. You've solved all our major issues here. You even found and rescued Resistance Ranger 
rain and uncovered some of the cog's evil plans they're trying to unfold here in the heart of toontown by the way i don't think these cogs will stop trying to run their operations in that alleyway nor will we be able to stop resistance ranger rain from repeatedly trying to take them down she mentioned it already figures we really appreciate her but she can be very stubborn to the point that it gets her in trouble that is true Derekman's office yeah this was really good I'm happy we were able to do this all in one episode um so yeah nice okay yep go talk to the shopkeeper let's go talk to flippy oh yeah the kudos board was unlocked I was about to say I am gonna go and fight the pre-thinker on this tune at some point I'm probably not gonna show like all of this all, doing all the tasks and everything but what I will do is just level up to rank 10 and just get the kudos stuff done so that way I can go fight the manager I will go and do that on my own time. And then I'll film myself fighting the manager. Okay. So yeah, Lord Loud and Clear. We did lots of cool stuff. We met up with Toons. We fought a boss. We had fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, go over to Barnacle Boatyard. Barnacle Bessie, of course. We're gonna go talk to all of them, Lighthouse Lane. If one day we'll get to fight the Rainmaker. We're gonna have tons of fun. And I'm super happy. Yeah, so the next episode isn't going to be me in Barnacle Boatyard. It's actually going to be me fighting the pre-thinker on this tune because I think it would be a really fun thing to do. Um, but that is pretty much it. We have made it to t episode 10. 10 episodes of me playing Corporate Clash. And it's a really good spot to leave off on by fighting the boss and then migrating over to Barnacle Boatyard. Uh, so anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'm going to go do some tasks to get myself set up for the pre-thinker. And while I do that, I'm probably going to level up a few times. And don't you know what? Don't be surprised if I have like sound or some other gag in the next video and have more laugh points and more gags because I like to do that preparation stuff off to the side. So, uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And do that. What type of modes do we have? Should we go for the, the roller again? I say give me a four. I got a one. But that's okay. I tried. <laughs>